सहना भुनक्ता सह वीर यंग करवाव है तेजस विनावधी तमस तुमाविक विशाव है ओम शांति 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 yesterday we saw the summary of the second chapter today you will see the summary of the first chapter <clears throat> in first chapter of kathopanishad there are three vallis so in this three vallis we will see each valli what is the gist of each valli i'll go through it a topic wise so first valli had 29 verses second had 25 verses and third had hmm, 17 i think 17 verses so this is the how the thought progression is in first valli let me now go through it you can jot down the important points for your future references so the first valli first to nine mantras upanishad presents a story story is a very famous story where the father's name is vajashravas and that vajashravas is doing one yagya called vishwajit vishwajit yag and in that vishwajit yag he had to give everything in charity hmm. vajashravas name had come whose fame was because of giving annadan vaja mean anna so he had a fame because of annadan <coughs> i have told these things and tagam kumaragam santam this nachiketa is introduced as a boy who was kumar so <laughs> shankarachar bhagwan his brilliance is there he comments in the word kumar a prajanan samartha who cannot have child <laughs> so that means he is around 8 9 year old boy so when this was given so his father started giving everything then while giving everything the father was giving the very dilapidated काउस पी तो दका जगत तणा दुग्ध दुहा निरिंद्रिया सच काउस वेर किविन विच कैन नॉट इवन मिल्क नाइदर दे हैड नो स्ट्रेंथ टू ईट ऑल्सो एवरीबडी फाइंड ए स्ट्रेंथ टू ईट बट रियली इफ यू फाइंड समबडी हाउ दर इज वीक नॉट गिव फूड सी हाउ मच एनर्जी है सो इफ ही इज लेजी ही विल बी वेरी एक्टिव इन ईटिंग बट इफ ही इज रियली इल then he can't eat also so he the cows were very weak weak cows were there so this nachiketa thought um, ha so he thought that my father is giving this so he shraddha avivesh sa amanyat so he said to his father he had heard or from his previous samskar he had a he had a notion that notion was there that a person gets whatever he is he is giving 
I think his father may have saved good cows for himself or for Nachiketa. So he asked, whom are you giving to me? And then Nachiketa's father said, I'm, and he got irritated. Three times he asked. So he said, I'm going to death. Although he said out of irritation, it didn't mean it. But Nachiketa took it literally. Now this was the story. The story itself tells about the Adhikari Prakarana. This story is Adhikari Prakarana of Vedanta. Natiketa had full qualities. First quality was Shraddha. Shraddha means what I have told many times. You have heard also that lot of good things are all hidden, all covered. Many saints I went. So when I went, I felt he is very ordinary person. What he has. He, he does not know English also properly. Hmm? English also. Swami Khandanji did not know English also. He was 4 or 5 class pass. We felt he doesn't know English. He doesn't know anything. And his behavior is also like ordinary person. He also talks about house matter. He also lives like a Sunni. But when I sat near them, few months, I was amazed to see everything. Their knowledge, their dispassion, their conduct, their character, their devotion, their puja. So, much of the things which are in this world is hidden. But how to get it? First you believe it has. You believe something which you don't see. Then after that you will try to see it. No effort is prayatna is always shraddha purvakam ev prayatna. So any effort will be there only first when you believe. At least anything, any I think secular science also. <coughs> When you go to the school, you think that mathematics is a right thing. It is not, wrong. It is not a illusory knowledge, it is a right knowledge. You had a faith then. So, bigger things are hidden by faith. And I had already talked a lot about all these things. So, faith, if a person does not have or less hair, he starts refuting without getting all information and data. Supposing I don't have faith in you, so instead of getting all information from you, I start refuting you unnecessarily. I am not, not ready to listen to you also. Huh? If I don't have faith in you, so you wanted to say something, but I won't listen to you also. Before listening only I will cut you left and right. So, when somebody wants to talk, first step is, I say, okay, you say whatever you want to say. You put your point. All points what you have in your mind, you can put your point. Huh? And then we will decide what to do, what is the future course of action. But before listening, if I say, no, you are totally wrong. So, this is my intellectual incapacity. It is my, rather, I am depriving myself of getting something good from you. If I don't see any goodness, that means I am not able to use your potential for myself and for yourself also. So, Chiketa had, as big is the Shraddha, so big would be the Tapasya, so big would be the Bhakti, so big would be the quietness in your mind. So big would be your, uh, your, what is it called, surrender. Therefore, Shraddha Sukh says, Shraddham Pratar Havamahe, Shraddham Madhyandinampari, Shraddham Suryasya Nimruchi, Shriddhe Shriddhya Apehana. Only I invoke Shraddha in the morning. I invoke Shraddha in the afternoon. Person is not fallen because he did something wrong. Person falls only when he loses that nothing is higher. Nothing can lift me. 
<laughs> neither I can lift myself, neither there is no God who can lift, neither prayer can lift me. Unnecessarily, he has not gone through all the details and he has just thought like that without sufficient data. Okay. So, without having all the data, you are rushing now wrongly to some conclusion. This is the thing. So, Shraddha says that there is karma karma. You know Guru only by Shraddha. So, you had faith, therefore you came. And after coming, you now you will be confirmed where I had faith was wrong or right. Faith will always be validated. Faith is not that you will be blindly going. It will be validated. Whether it is a person, whether Guru or God also. Any person also you believe, in, in time you will know whether what I believed was right or wrong. Eat food, then you will, that also will be validated. Whether it is a good food or not a good food. You will find it out after the, seeing the effect of the food also. Hmm. If you go to lawyer, you can validate this lawyer cheated me or really he did a good work. Kyo? So he can find it out <laughs> that this liar was playing fool with me or really he did some hard work and you can make it out. You can he really won a case for me. Or he worked hard but he didn't win. That was our problem. Or he he just called and took a lot of fees from. They can really trouble you. Lawyer, Kali Kawi said are you? Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> they put on black coat no? when they go for hearing they put on black coat and the judge puts on black gown huh? wig also ok and they put the wig earlier hmm? British no, not they don't have curly hair the wig is there British time I think they used to put on wig British time the wig was put on. I don't know what was the logic behind that. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> huh? mm, in the heat they put on black coat. Very thick. In India also it is like that. So you can find it out. If you, you know, you worship God in your life with You'll, you'll know in due time that whether what I worship with faith, God did something or nothing also. <laughs> hmm? So don't, but faith if it is there, bigger is your faith, bigger will be your joy, bigger would be your effort, bigger would be your, uh, what is it called, tapasya, bigger would be your vision, everything the starting point is faith only. So that is a very important aspect which Nachiketa had. Okay, first thing. Second thing about Nachiketa, he was Nyaya Priya. Nyaya Priya means he thought when the priest have done that worship, they should be given the proper Dakshina. You make them do puja and rituals for many days and you are giving those cows <laughs> to maintain which they had to spend much lot of money. <laughs> Forget about they are not an asset only. <laughs> these, cows, <laughs> these cows are a liability for <laughs> they are giving them the something <laughs> which is difficult but keep it. That means you are actually uh, taking their money in other manner. You are giving something so their investment is not there. They have to pay more money for that. So this is not the right. We should not do injustice with anybody. Bhagavan Vishnu, one name is Nyaya. In Vishnu Sasnam, one name is Nyaya. So his name is justice only. Don't do injustice with. Injustice means what you get and what you give should be matching. Hmm. Not that you are only getting and you are not giving anything. That is very bad. At least you try to give something. <coughs> Dakshina. Third thing about Nachiketa, it is very important, is that when his father said that you go to Yamraj or death, Mrittve Tvam Dadamiti, 
Earlier they satya means it was a literal satya most of the time. Like Draupadi was asked, Arjun was asked, distribute who whatever you have brought in five among yourselves. It was a literal statement they used to do. Hmm. That was at the time there was like like Kekai asked for two boons. Ab Dashaji could not say that you have asked for two this this is this is this is cheating. This is cheating you are doing. This is this is a, that is also a pap. That also a pap. You you should ask something else. This is wrong. I will never do something else. This you are actually you are cheating the me through that boons. He didn't say like that. So he did. So that was a very literal thing. And therefore he said, "I am going to Yamraj." Then his father got little worried. He said, "Boy." You are going to Yamraj, don't go. Then Nachiketa, Satya Pratishtha, Satya Nishtha was there. Bahu naam emi prathamaha, Bahu naam emi madhyamaha, Kim sudhya masya kartavyam in mayat karishyade. Ole, I was first among all students. At the most I was second but never third. Therefore I always say keep your self image good. If you follow a life of a routine tapasya and when you sit alone, you have a consolation that I have done what I had to do. Live with your consolation and for that struggle. He said, I was first. I was never a third that if I do this, that means I will fall down. If I don't follow the truth, that means I will fall down. Because Sat is the one which is the Pratishtha of any person. Even if a servant is there and he may be illiterate, he may be a maybe daily wager, but he has integrity and Satya, he will win at the end. Hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, one shloka I told you, Uttutam <clears throat> Uttamam Chintanam. Kuryat, prokta kari tu madhyama. About Shish, it is said, the highest kind of disciples are, they did not be told also, they are so tuned. Uttamam chintatam kuryat, likha hoga. In your copy, you see, I must have made you write. Hmm? That highest kind, they think, they are so tuned that they think. Prokta kari tu madhyama. The middle class, they have to be told. Adhamam hmm? tuna kuryat. Rita? Not, I think I have made you right. Hmm. But the Adham, even after being told, they don't do it. So one should try to raise his Satya value. I know. And therefore, I said one day, sometime do some exercise also. Make two columns. Write unavoidable false and avoidable false in your life. And you will find and make it tick. That was that false that I am living or doing. Was it avoidable or unavoidable? And you will find that many false things which we do, I always say, speaking the truth is a later state. It is preceded by living the truth first. Many times I have emphasized that point. You will find what I live, this was an avoidable false thing. It could have been avoided. It is not that non-avoidable. Satya Pratishtha is there because one, Swami Akhandana used to say, one who cannot hold on to empirical truth, how can he hold on to the absolute truth? Because in empirical truth, you have to leave this thing. And in, in absolute truth, you have to leave the whole world. When I don't know how to spend 10 rands, how can I spend 1 million rand? <sighs> In 10 rand only I messed up and purchased cigarette etc. And bottle of wine etc. So if I get such a very big amount, I will really destroy myself. <laughs> so Satya Pratishtha for a seeker is very important. So three things were mentioned. Then another thing was there. Nachiketa went to Yamaraj. And Yamaraj had gone for a meeting. And but Nachiketa waited there for three nights. Hmm? Three nights. Not that he had a bahana. 
he had excuse he ran away he said i came he was not there and he was right also ha huh? if he had come back <laughs> he said you said no you go i i went in india it so happened there was judge was there earlier days bole he should be hanged english judge so they they he should be hanged so they hung the prisoner and within 2 seconds they took him out got no point then they had to change the clause hang to death <laughs> it was only hanging so for hardly 2 second the lawyer was very clever he said this is what you said we hanged him but time is not mentioned after that they had, therefore after that clause was used he should be hanged until death so nachiketa could have brought out sometimes i read people write jokes in the notes hmm. they are they are very many verbatim notes they offer so <laughs> so so nachiketa didn't run away that means nachiketa was meaning to be there always be. sometimes i say please go and see he is there or not call him so people just say when is not there means is please find out also very easy don't be too clever lazy person finds out a way how not to do the work so well, he is not there no it is not there is not complete now you go and find out where is call him do some hard work this is the meaning so sometime literally we we try to way, way out is there that was not the way so here nachiketa went and he stayed for 3 nights and then yamraj ji came when yamraj came yamraj was very surprised so he felt very guilty he said 3 nights you are standing outside therefore i'll give you 3 boons hmm? and then he mentioned about atithi puja also and yamraj washed the feet of nachiketa so all the yamraj is a very high profile minister and this boy is just a ordinary brahmin but i think because of that puja only he must have become very high so immediately he he said bring the water from his wife he said and they <clears throat> wash the feet of this boy and then eight things are destroyed in whose house the guest especially the punnashali guest hmm punnash guest word is very uh, loose word atithi word is very communicative than the guest but atithi ones i told about that especially the sanyasis etc or even other person who comes in your house so asha pratiksha sangatam sunrutam cha ishta purte putra pashumscha sarvan etad vrinte purushasya alpamedah yasya anashnan vasati brahmano grahe so eight things are destroyed you must have written and known right so this was another value and there was a lessons of humility was also there the story has lessons also and also perseverance of nachiketa and commitment to meet yamraj you heard you saw gurudev's commitment yesterday that he came back again and went back to from from rishikesh that was a commitment tapon ji was a quite a strict and hard teacher he was a very tough teacher therefore student couldn't stay with him he was not a very gentle and soft spoken teacher teacher he was a hard teacher difficult to live with with others with his students couldn't go around 30 40 came during 7 8 years good they used to say hardly three stayed so people couldn't live with him <laughs> because his his standards were too high <coughs> Mm. he himself was austere and wanted others also to be austere like him he said don't waste my time if you are not austere don't waste my time in asking questions don't ask unnecessary questions get out so about this another point about nachiketa was mentioned that he had commitment and perseverance to continue that you can you can make lot of notes on nachiketa also next point was 10th th- and this was third to oh sorry first to ninth 
Now 10th and 11th verse are the first boon that was the Pitra Devo Bhava. Hmm. So Yamraj, he was asking for three boons and he said, first boon, please get my father. <laughs> Let my father be quiet. Huh? He could sleep well because he is thinking my son has gone. I don't know. And he said very cleverly, you are a very smart boy. He said, when I return back, you should recognize me. That means you should leave me. <laughs> because going to death, nobody returns. So he said, he should recognize me. Not that he should think, Preth has come, Bhut has come. If somebody dies, we don't expect him to come back. How so lovable he may be. So we don't want that he should be back. Okay, so first boon was regarding the regarding the father's peace of mind. That means Nachiketa was sensitivity for highest cannot come unless you have gone through sensitivity stages also. You know, sometimes they say the saints don't serve their parents, but this is not right. That they have served a lot, and because of the serving only, they have got out of that pitran and matra. If they had not served, parents won't leave them. They will be after you. If they have not served, then you cannot run away. So they, we have people in the ashram who come, good student. Their parents come and create fiasco and, and they take the child away. Or they don't allow to take diksha. Or they don't allow to serve also. We have already got your marriage ready. We have already, while you are doing course, we were searching girl. So, this is, therefore, you please come back. You cannot do it. You cannot go there. It, they create lot of problems. So, that means, that don't blame the parents. That means you have not paid your pitran. Matran is not there. Pitars are not happy. <coughs> and therefore, you will have lot of obstacles if you don't pay the minimum amount, minimum debt that is there. So he asked for the for the peace of his father's mind. Now see the selflessness of Nachiket. He could have asked luxuries etc. After three boons, two boons he gave to somebody else. Eleven, twelfth and third, twelve to eight, nineteenth words, he asked about the boon for the society. And the boon for the society he asks how that they can get go to Swarglok. And in that going to Swarglok, he asks that what is the way. And therefore he said what is the upas, what is the ritual. And then Nachiketa's teacher, he gave him the ritual if you remember. Hmm? Ritual. And after he said, okay, tell me what I told. So being a brilliant student, he repeated verbatim. And then Yamaraj said that this will be in your name. Nachiket Agni was the name of that Upasana, of that ritual. And then the if the Nachiket ritual is combined, Nachiket ritual will take you to Swarg. But if this combined with the Virat Upasana, Upasana means meditation, it will take you to Brahmalok. It will take you to Brahmalok. This was the subject from 12 to 19th verse. <clears throat> to summarize is more difficult because you should know the whole subject very well. Otherwise you will miss some points. Oh, a small point I had said. What was this based on? Expansion of thought. Upasana means what? You are expanding your thought. Instead of egocentric thought, you have a virat centric thought. And then I, I had mentioned one rule very emphatically many times. The pervasiveness of thought will decide the area of authority in your next birth. These are very salient points. And people say, what was the need of this? Some people say, students of Vedan, but straight away, why can't you start all this thing? I said, because that is the way to purify yourself. If you have not gone through processes, you will be stuck up somewhere later on. It is not a crash course. 
you have to really work hard for that so this is the 12 to 19th verses there so make your thought pervasive that was the second now third boon was there. one more boon he said okay one bonus boon he was given bonus boon then he gave Nachiket name and then he gave his mala also do Yamraj then from 20th to 29th verse 20th verse was the Nachiketa's boon of self knowledge yeyam prete vichikitsa manushye astit yeke nayam astiti chayke etad vidya manushishtas tvayaham varana mesha varastritiyah I had asked you to buy heart. So this is the Nachiketa. He is asked this question. In short, what is the nature of the Atma? Some say it is there. Something is not there. In other words, this was the first time he asked the question about the nature of Atma. Not whether Atma exists or not. What is the nature of the Atma? And from 21st verse to 29th verse, 21st to 29th verse, Yamraj was dissuading at least 25th verse. From 20, 21st to 25th is a Yamraj's test of Nachiketa. And difficult test was there because he was providing tremendous luxuries. Tremendous luxuries he was providing. So, Arth, Kam, Dharm. Three temptations he gave. Temptation, you know, no, that weak, that brings out your weaknesses, hidden weaknesses, hidden weaknesses. So for apsaras, there is one word, temptress, temptress. <laughs> Holy she was very temptress. Urvashi was temptress. Hmm? Bring out some hidden weaknesses for luxuries, weakness for. Calm, so weakness for children. So actually, with Teshna, Lokeshna, and Putreshna, these three Eshnas was being brought out. Young Raj was seeing whether this boy has or not. Hmm. So ultimately, that test was difficult, and then uh, Nachiketa's golden words are in 26th verse. How many of you know 26th verse? Shobhava, Shobhava, okay, those who don't know, please, by heart it, I will not ask you, I have already decided I won't ask you, but if you don't know, you will find reflection difficult, because verses are in my mind, therefore I am giving you the summary, right, if verses are not in my mind, I have to flip every page. I did not flip lot of pages because most of the verses are already standing in my mind. Shobhava mrtyasya danta kaitat sarvendriyanam jaryanti tejaha api sarvam jivitam alpam eva tavai bhavaha astava nritya gite So Nachiketas, these are sannyasis chant this a lot. And he said, you know this what dance and that Sangeet instrument you keep for yourself because whatever you are seeing, all what you have tempted to me, they are absent in the future. Seeker is a seeker because he is dissatisfied by something which has no permanency. Moment you satisfied by temporary, you become samsari. Woman, samsari and seeker is not one who does puja, he is a seeker or one who doesn't do puja. Or one who comes in satsang, he is seeker. Huh? Or one who sits with saints, he is a seeker. All these things does not make a seeker. Seeker, therefore I say, try to intensify your seekerhood and extensify it. Seeker means one who is not satisfied with some kind of temporary solution. Who, who feels that even if I get it, I will this will is not going to give me the permanent prop solution. Show abhava. Hmm. Then he said, all tej will go away. Sarvendriyanam jariyanti tejaha. So he ultimately refused the kam purusharth. This shlok was for refuting kam purusharth. 
Nothing I want. You know, he, don't think Yamaraj had showed Ima Ratha Saturiyaha. It was said there. He brought all the damsels in front of Nachini. And not that he just giving it. So that you also see what is there. Don't say no before seeing. First time the experience you should have. You don't know what you are saying no to. So seeker's biggest strength is that even if he slips, he has intellect. Intellect doesn't cooperate with something which has pain. When he gets pain from any person or any habit or any attachment or even his ahankar, even his mamta, even his hatred, even his irsha or even his body, he is now bent after removing the cause of that pain. This is what makes a seeker good seeker. If I am very hurt today, so seeker will not be accusing, you know, he that person hurt me. We get hurt, it is natural to get hurt when you are living with 10 people. You get hurt at times. He said something he did not. Seeker will not blame or he will blame for two minutes then he will, his mind will come back to himself. He said, see, I think I have lot of anger. And now, what, what can I do so that I can get rid of this anger? Or I have lot of attachment. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Is his one persistent question. This pain for getting out of this his own limitation, self-imposed limitation, makes a seeker and seeker. Sansari has a pain because he wants system to change, situation to change and person to change. But seeker doesn't want to anyway, you don't change, I will change. You need not change, I will change. And this was Nachiketa's philosophy you saw in the 26th verse. Moving ahead, 27th verse is also very beautiful mantra. It says, Na vitte na tarpaniyo manushya lapsya mahe vitta madarakshma chetva api jivishyama yavad ishishya sitvam Mule, by money nobody is satisfied. Earth Purusharth has been taken out. As I told you, money does, money has entry towards the situation and body. Money has no entry towards your mind. Typical thing about money is, money can, excellent situation it can give you, no doubt. You have money, you can purchase very big house, you can have good car, you can have, what is it called, uh, what is it called, Fara Ferrari, 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 not Ferrari, <laughs> that is a chocolate. So you can have Ferrari. Ferrari is expensive. Expensive one. I think one million. More? Huh? Two million? Three million? My God. So people have that. People have that. I will tell you. Ferrari take a Ferrari. Whether you fry it or anything else. You can, have, you can travel in first class. You can stay in biggest hotels. Hmm? You can have very big house. You can have hundred servant. But my dear, if ankar and attachment is there inside, <laughs> it doesn't give joy. I have traveled in business class. No? Therefore, I keep on seeing all these things. I also lived in five star hotels. <clears throat> Sometimes in the camp they organize, they take to five star hotel, seven star hotel, kuch bhi, nothing is there. And they are very happy, complimentary breakfast is there. <laughs> they don't understand that the money has been taken, he is too clever, he is not giving breakfast for free, he has already added it in your room fix. <laughs> free breakfast Chalo, love some little jaldi, go, lo, complimentary breakfast. Chalo, chalo. 
and when compliment is there whole plate is full <laughs> ban bhi rakh liya hmm and the fruits bhi rakh liya kyun chhodna kuch bhai fruits also is there bun is also there cheese also bhi rakh diya dokla bhi rakh liya sab rakh liya fir this uske upar bhi rakh liya aise you train taking that खा नहीं पा रहे छोड़ना पड़ा सर यू डिलीव एवरी कुछ सुख नहीं होता वो लगता वाह 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 ऐसे करते रहो सी साइड सी साइड है सी साइड योर माइंड हैज काम क्रोध यू हैव एक्सपेक्टेशन फ्रॉम समबडी यू हैव अहंकार ऑन सम मैटर यू गेट हर्ट कुछ सुख नहीं होता भैया so comes from your absence of attachment absence of ankar bhakti vairag ye sab bade sukh ke karan hai mere malik okay navitin tar this was nachiketas and 29th verse also was refuting of nas uh, i mean that was dharm purushat he said i don't have to get any bigger lok also i don't want so this was the first valli you can see mature head on the young and tender shoulders <laughs> okay his head was very square <clears throat> this head a square head <laughs> on that tender young shoulders who can refute everything so this was the first valley 1.1